Oh my god, look like maggots growing. That is funky as heck. In today's video, an absolute miracle survivor car MX10, and it is quote unquote funky as heck. That's right, coming at you, my man Dan, the Australian in Japan, bringing you them classic autos from across the sea, showing them to you and me, cars that would never be seen again, rust it up, tell a friend, cars that no one gives a damn, except the Wasabi Dan, and then it's seen again, and what do you know, coming at you live in another Wasabi Cars video. Teaching in school and YouTube too, spotting them cars is what he'll do, keep on watching. Oh my god, people. Absolute jackpot! I am loving this one, people. Oh my god, I was just checking out the R32 GTR and I saw that badge turn the camera on. This is incredible. It's a late one. I think that's just a bigger bumper, chunkier bumper, whereas the earlier ones were really like curved in and integrated. But I'm absolutely loving this. It's got the uh, the parking assist bar here, so uh, the visible corner. People also ask what is the deal with uh, these mirrors. And I think the deal is they simply eliminate a blind spot. So when someone is next to you, but not next, uh, someone is next to you but back, there's a blind spot there, right? But anyway, these were government mandated and I believe the reason is to uh, reduce the blind spot. And that was of course a previous feature video, but this is epic. People, this is incredible. I better get a move on, but the bold creases in the styling, it's actually incredible. I'm sorry for the lighting the sun situation, but uh, oh, wait a sec. I got it, okay. MX-10. Um, MX-10, 1988cc, what's going on here? Okay, okay so some, someone's tried to get the thing started, fair enough, good on you, as if you wouldn't. But uh, people, this is epic as heck. That, the original paint, that sort of blue, deep blue, you know, surface rust here and there. I may have to go soon, I'm not really sure. My god, the bonnet is heavy to pull down. And I'm back, people. So yeah, this has been stored for, for a quite a bit of time. Man, I'm, I'm loving this so hard. Look at they, the way the chrome, or the chrome, has deteriorated. Really amazing. And that beautiful, beautiful rust. I mean, hey, it's sad to see it like this, but I'll say it again. The alternative was, 20, 30 years ago, it got crushed. So that we see a rusty old car here. It's not sad. Don't be sad, people. It's incredible. Now that is the rear that I recall from Australia. We'll get to that in just a sec. We gotta crack this people. Oh man, this is high spec. Uh, look at these. Oh, it's, oh, it's the old car smell too. It's got it all people. It's got the, the shag pile, <laughs> the vinyl and the uh, velour or cloth, whatever the heck it is. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, mirror controls so you can take a good hard look at yourself the dash oh, the Sun is in a bitch of a spot but okay cracked I accept that but uh, the gauges are all pristine is that like an 8 track cartridge oh my god that's incredible what's that? Brake okay monitor. Wow, look at the freaking things. That is incredible. Uh, Mark II, of course. I better just have a look in here. Nothing. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever. You do you. But uh, not bad. And underneath, we're looking at trim in good condition. Uh, that's a mat. Underneath looks really nice, people. I'm stoked. What is that? Mitsubishi car audio something yeah but uh, the accessories people this is incredible oh my god this car is wonderful absolutely one I mean that is gro 
God. Oh my God, look like maggots. Growing, that is funky as heck. Okay, that is disgusting. I'm loving this car hard, people. Okay, I wouldn't uh, keep the rear seat covers. Not gonna lie. There we go, Toyo Pet. Now, I've just to spell it out again, of course it's a Toyota, but Toyo Pet were a, uh, a chain of stores in the Toyota sales network, and they sold their own specific models or variations of other Toyotas from other stores. Uh, I don't know about this grade, LG pretty much stands for luxury good. I got no idea, but it's, but uh, yeah, you saw the car. It's um, in pretty good nick, EFI, fuel injection, damn. I saw a variation of this rear tail light and that was really, really distinctive. This one looks more normal to me, as in what I would have seen in Australia. Incredible. Toyota mud flaps, who doesn't love a good flap o mud? Toyota, da, 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 da. just to get some perspective, people. Yeah, that sun is our beard. Yeah, so very, very cool. Does not smell the best. Hood vents. That is so cool. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe, click the bell. Uh, see Wasabi Cars on the socials around the place. Take it easy, I'll be back next Saturday with another one. Goodbye. This is really weird and I phoned a friend. Thank you, Jared. Ignore the fact that it goes up to 490,000 yen. Then we see the auction kicking off again at 120,000 yen. And a single bid takes us to 125,000 yen. Thanks for watching.